Hi, long time no CNC. <laughs> Actually, I have CNC a lot, but it's over a year since I uploaded something here on YouTube. But here I am. Last summer, I decided to do something about my Dodge Challenger. I had a lot of problem when cruising with it. <laughs> it's a muscle car, so it um, probably isn't down for slow speed. But the thing is that the fuel in the carburetor will boil and then the idle be grumpy and if it stops it's hard to start. Anyhow, a wooden space between the carb and the intake can be the solution. Look here how I did the spacer and a little review how it went out. <laughs> Okay, first I have to take off the carburetor and the gasket. I use the old gasket to measure up everything so I can draw the spacer in my CAD CAM software. This simple design is very easy to draw in the Vetric software. <coughs> Here I use super glue and masking tape to hold the Baltic birch and to protect the spoil board I put a piece of thick paper in between. Then it's my CNC's time to make some chip. And to seal the end grain from fuel fumes and dirt, I put on a layer super glue with activator. I use the spacer as a template for making new gaskets. Then I use Loctite. 5923 to glue and seal all together. And I screw it all back again. And then it's done. Now we will see if it starts. Since I put the spacer on, 
I never had problem with paper lock. So it uh, went out well, I think. And um, I felt that I got higher torque at lower RPM as well. Uh, so it's, um, it's been great. But now after five months, the question is, how did the spacer survive? And as you can see here, the spacer has survived very well. <laughs>